Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning, and as we continue our readings for Lent this morning, we're going to be reading the rest of John chapter 4. So that's from verse 43 to the end. It's just a short reading this morning, but it's a great reading. So let's hear God's word together. At the end of the two days, Jesus went to Galilee. He himself had said that a prophet is not honoured in his own hometown. Yet the Galileans welcomed him, for they had been in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration and seen everything that he did there. As he travelled through Galilee, he came to Cana, Cana, where he had turned the water into wine. There was a government official in nearby Capernaum, whose son was very sick. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged Jesus to come to Capernaum to heal his son, who was about to die. He, Jesus asked, will you never believe in me unless you, unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? The official pleaded, Lord, please come now before my little boy dies. Then Jesus told him, go back home, your son will live. And the man believed what Jesus had said and started home. While the man was on his way, some of the servants met him with the news that his son was alive and well. He asked them when the boy had begun to get better. And they replied, yesterday afternoon at one o'clock, his fever suddenly disappeared. Then the fellow realised that that was the very time Jesus had told him, your son will live. And he and his entire household believed in Jesus. This was the second miraculous sign Jesus did in Galilee after coming from Judea. Amen. It's interesting, Jesus spent a couple of days with the Samaritans. Um, that was the previous reading before he starts to travel um, on to Galilee. And that's where he meets this official who has a sick son. And I mean, Jesus doesn't hold back with his words at times. He says in verse 48, Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? And that wasn't directed at the official. It was directed at all who were around, all who were listening. Um, asking them to, to trust him and to have faith in him. And the man had to trust and went home to find that Jesus had healed his son. You know, faith is about trusting whenever we can't see we quite often would sing that song we walk by faith and not by sight and that line in the song and it's so true the people were wanting to walk by sight wanting to see things before they believe jesus was trying to say no you need to walk by faith because jesus knew the time was coming whenever he would leave this earth he would no longer be here to do miracles and signs and wonders like that in person and yet he still wanted people to believe. You and I, those of us today who call ourselves Christians, we walk by faith whenever we don't have that sight. But what we do have is that sense of God with us at all times. You know, even whenever we are in the loneliest and darkest of places, that God is with us, that we are never alone. Um, we trust those words when God says, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. He is always with us. Jesus' journey through Lent, Jesus' journey to the cross, was at times a lonely journey. At times his disciples ran away and left him, and he was all alone, and yet he wasn't, because God was always with him. No matter where you find yourself today, no matter who is around you or not around you, God is with you. God is walks with you and he helps you. So as we head into a weekend, a weekend where, let's be honest, it's always the uncertainty of what will happen. Let us go in with confidence and with boldness, knowing that God is with us. Let's pray together. Our dear God and our loving Heavenly Father, we again thank you for another wonderful day. It is wonderful because you have given it to us and you have blessed us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we should rejoice every day 
Because every day you have given to us, every day we can live for you and serve you, every day is a blessing from you. Lord, we thank you that in no matter what this day and this weekend will hold, that you will be with us, that you will be guiding us and directing us, that you will be protecting us and supporting us. Lord, that you will give us the strength that we need at the times whenever we need it, because you are always there. Father, thank you for your constant love and presence. And this weekend, we ask that you would be near to us, that we would know your blessing. So, Father, thank you. And go with us now, this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Folks, may it be a blessed day, whatever you're doing. May you stay safe this day in whatever you're getting up to. And I trust that over the weekend that you get a chance for some rest and relaxation. But that also you would join us on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock as we will worship God together through song, through prayer, through the reading of his word, through looking at what his word says to us. So you're all very welcome to join us on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Or if you can't join at 11 o'clock, it will be up on Facebook and then later on YouTube um, for the rest of the week as well or later on and you can watch it at whatever time. Um, but won't be here tomorrow morning, but join us please on Sunday morning and then back here again on Monday morning. But in the meantime, take care and God bless.